Hello everyone, welcome back. Now that we've set up our OneNote class notebook inside of our demo class team, let's go ahead and take a closer look at some of the sections inside of the class notebook. Let's start with the collaboration space. So I've gone ahead and clicked on my class notebook here in the left navigation of my class teams and the notebook has opened here along the right. To expand my notebook to view all of the sections as well as pages inside of the sections, I'm simply going to click on the navigation button. It looks like a stack of books. When I expand the navigation, I can see that I'm currently in a default section created for you by Microsoft OneNote called the welcome section. And I'm currently on the first page, the welcome to class notebook page. Now, this welcome section is great if you are just getting started with Microsoft OneNote and OneNote Class Notebook. There are a lot of uh, details here to provide you with an overview of Class Notebook, but of course we're going through an overview in the videos. So I'm going to skip over the welcome section. I want to draw your attention to the collaboration space section group. I can tell it's a section group because it has the carrot here that if I click on will expand to show me the different sections inside of the group. Now the first section using the collaboration space is again a default section provided by Microsoft OneNote to give you more information about using the collaboration space with your students. Keep in mind that the collaboration space is meant to be an area for you and your students to collaborate. Inside of a section within the collaboration space, you and your students can add additional pages as well as additional sections that you can collaborate in. If we take a look here in my sample OneNote class notebook, you can see that I, as a teacher, have added another section called the fur trade. And inside of this section, I've created three pages for three different groups of students to compare and contrast the French and British involvement in the fur trade in North America. So within the collaboration space, students have the ability to edit pages within sections. With that being said, I could have the whole class together on one page inside a section, brainstorming and recording their notes and ideas, or even working together to complete interactive activities on the page. Or, as in the case of this example, I could divide up my students into groups and assign them a specific page to work on inside the section. Let me show you how I created a new section inside the collaboration space and added pages to it. The first step is simply to click on a section inside of the collaboration space section group. Then down here at the bottom, click add section. Enter a section name and click okay to create the section. Notice by default, it comes with one untitled page Simply click on the page itself and enter a title above the date. When I expand that navigation again, I will notice that the name of the page has changed. Keep in mind that I can add as many pages as I need to inside this section. My students can also add additional pages. And if I were to take a step back, and go back to sections, I can also add more sections to the collaboration space section group inside my OneNote class notebook. 